Hey guys, it's me Ram here, and this cube right here is the Mofang Jiaoshi Meilong M3 by 3, currently the world's cheapest magnetic speed cube. Now, a few months ago, Cubing Guru came to my house and unboxed this Meilong M3 by 3 for his channel, and ever since then, I've had a few ideas on what I should do with this puzzle. However, to be honest, laziness took over me, and I never really ended up doing anything with this cube. And now it's like a week before I leave for New Zealand, and I feel obligated to do something with this cube. Therefore, just recently, I had the genius idea of doing a J-perm setup on this cube, and the other day, I put out a community post. Asking whether I should do the JPM RS3M setup or the JPM WRM setup on this cube. As you guys can see, the WRM setup won by a fair margin. So in today's video, we're going to be trying the JPM WRM maglev setup on the world's cheapest magnetic 3x3 speed cube. Let's do this. All right, so the loops you'll be needing for this are Galaxy and Lunar, and this is a fairly basic and simple setup which shouldn't take much time. So yeah, let's just roll with it. Now, since the WRM maglev 3x3 is a maglev cube, you don't need to loop the core of it. However, since the Meilong M isn't a maglev cube, I feel like looping the core is necessary. Therefore, I'm going to be looping the core of this cube with Lunar. I'm not using Galaxy for this because Galaxy is kind of a slower loop, and the Meilong itself is a slightly slower cube than the WRM maglev. So yeah, let's just use some Lunar. The first thing you need to do is obviously just take off all the center. Center caps, all right, and there we go. Here are all the center caps taken off. Then what you got to do is take your lunar and put four drops of it between the screw and spring. So one, two, three, and four. So yeah, as you guys can probably not see, actually the lube has gone inside. After this, just go ahead and repeat it for all of the six sides, and then put the center caps back on. Okay, I've just finished lubing the core, and now I'm putting all the center caps back on. As you guys can see, the cube has probably gotten a little bit lubey, but just go ahead and wipe it down with a paper towel. There we go. I went ahead and wiped the cube down, and just like that, as you guys can probably hear, the cube sounds a lot softer now. All right, now that we're done looping the core, it is now time to loop the pieces with Galaxy and Lunar. What you got to start by doing is taking the cube apart like this and putting six drops of Galaxy on various parts of the cube. So here we go: one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep, there we go. Now just go ahead and turn the cube. All right, now you will notice your cube sounds a lot softer. However, it's also become much slower than before, and it's also quite loopy on the outside. So what you need is your paper towels to wipe the cube down again. All right, so the cube feels pretty awesome now. However, again, it's a little bit slower than I would like, and that's where the lunar comes in. So what you got to do now is take your lunar loop and do the exact same thing as what you did with Galaxy. Just put six drops in various places around the cube. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Yep, that's more like it. I really like this. Again, you will have noticed the cube got a bit loopy from the outside, so I guess you know the drill by now. So yep, that's pretty much it for this setup. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, this cube feels and sounds amazing. Now the tension on this cube out of the box for me and for most people will probably be fine. I may actually like it a little bit looser. However, for the vast majority of people, I think this tension is perfect. Now J-perm setups always feel amazing in practice. However, how do they fare in actual solving? Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and scramble the cube up real quick and see how it fares in solves. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the solve. All right, 10.92 seconds. That's pretty solid. Now, admittedly, this cube is still a little bit slower than I would have liked. However, just give it around 25 to 50 sols, and it'll break in to be absolutely amazing and good to go for competitions. Now, I guess the last thing to do is to put on an SCS logo. Unfortunately, I don't have a JPM logo, but I guess an SCS logo is also perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on off camera because I don't want to mess up the placement. But I'll be back in a second. All right then, I think that looks pretty epic. So I guess that's pretty much it for me trying out the JPM setup on the Meilong M. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.